Hi everybody! So I'm just going to continue where I left off, creating these adorable little giraffes that are designed by Jess Davies, also known as Craft Lover 17 on Instagram. I am going to show you how to attach all of the parts together in this video. All supplies were mentioned in part one. So I'm going to continue and I do hope you enjoy. We're going to attach the head now to the body. So you want to make sure that the head is kind of flat. It'll be easier to see where I'm at. And you can fluff it up after. I have 18 bands here because you have 18 stitches on the neck part of the body. What I'm going to do is grab four stitches evenly on the back of the head. Then I'm going to do five stitches down on the color and then four stitches across. Repeating five stitches up, one, two, three, four, and five, all the way back up to the purple. Now find where you'd like the front of the body to be. Sometimes um, you, you might have it over here, so it depends. You might have crocheted a little bit differently, so wherever you prefer the front to be. I'm going to have my slip knot right at the back, so I'm going to have them like this. Keeping an eye on the eyes so you know where you're grabbing. I'm going to grab four stitches on my purple. So I'm going to grab around here one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to do slip stitches all the way around. I'm going to grab on the body first, one stitch, and then go through the head and slip stitch. So I'm starting here and I'm going to go around in a box shape. Bringing my band through all the loops and slide. The next stitch, because I didn't do a complete round, I have the green stitch here at the neck. And slip stitch. So I just did two stitches. Now for the third, now I'm going to skip this little, no, I'm going to grab it. I said, I thought I was going to skip it. That's one of my stitches. Don't worry with what I just said. Just find four even stitches at the back of the head there. Through all the loops. Now you're going to go to the side and you're going to do five stitches down. So I'm just going to grab the yellow, keeping your hook straight down. You don't want to stretch, so kind of fix it up and grab the next row of color. Slip stitch. Now don't keep stretching. If you put it straight, it will guide you where to grab. If you put your hook straight, it will guide you where to grab. One more to the side. Now before I continue, I'm just going to make sure, just turn it around, kind of make sure that it's going on nicely. Now I'm going to do four stitches at the front of the face, one, two, three, and four, and then I'm going to turn. So we want to make sure that we're going straight. Just put your hook straight down. I lost the band the other end, so I'm just going to take it out through the neck first and then through the head. If 
you need a little bit more stuffing, this is where you want to finish it off by just adding a little bit more stuffing. I'm just going to look just to make sure that it's going on nicely. And now I'm going to go to the side, four stitches up. Put the head straight down. I'm just going to look just to make sure again. And then continue. I'm going to put it straight. My stitch is kind of hidden now. And I grab some stuffing. My last stitch is hidden. I don't want to overstretch by going to a stitch above. And this one I'm just going to pull tighter just to close it to secure it. And just check just to make sure. Now we're going to attach the legs. And you want to make sure that you're grabbing the legs and not the arms. The legs are bigger than the actual arms. So these are the arms and then these are the legs. I'm going to put the arms to the side. I'm going to do both legs with you. I'm just going to remove my stitch marker, just holding them together. And I'm going to find the center of the purple. So what I'm going to do is find in the eyes. I'm going to, with my hook, go down and trying to find the center. So it's about here. So I'm going to put my hook through, oh sorry, my stitch marker just to secure it. Or you can do a guiding band, which I usually do. I'm going to use 10 yellow bands because the opening of each of the legs has 10 stitches. Put one to the side and I'm going to do this one first. What I'm going to do is go in this order. Doing slip stitches throughout, I'm going to do one and two at the bottom, go to the top, and then four stitches to the side, and then three stitches over here. So I'll take it slowly. First to find the placement, you want to find the front of the foot. Fold the leg in half, I'm just going to push this stuffing in, fold the leg in half and find the band in the back that's going sideways and put your hook through. That's where you're going to start. Now you want to count six stitches to your right. So I'm going to go on the purple here. Where my stitch marker is, is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to go to the stitch right below, so I'm not going to grab where the purple meets the yellow. I'm going to go to the stitch right below. And that was six. Now I'm going to bring my band through and do a slip stitch. So I'm starting down here. Bring it through all the loops and slide. Now bringing the leg up, making sure that the front of the foot is facing the body. I'm going to bring it to the side here. And I'm going to do the next stitch. So you pull, you went right through here, you're going to go the next stitch right beside it. On the body and then through the leg. And do, you're going to do a slip knot to secure it. So just pull to secure. Now I'm going to use this band at the top, so that's going to be right at the top. So to find that, you went here, you're going to count five stitches towards the top. So count above where you just left off here on your first stitch, one, two, three, four, and five. Put your hook through the body, put the leg straight down, you can kind of stand them up. Kind of want it to a side, not straight. Kind of want it to the side. And where your hook is, that's where you just want to grab. 
bring your band through and do a slip stitch. I mean, you can just keep going around in a circle um, instead of doing these slip knots, slip stitches. You can just keep going around in a circle if you know how to sew on the legs a little bit better. I'm going to have four stitches now here. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Do four slip stitches. You're going to go through the leg first. You can have the body kind of leaning on the leg. Put your hook straight and it's going to guide you where to grab. and slip stitch. The next stitch on the leg, putting it straight, don't bend your hook, put it straight towards the body and it's going to guide you where to grab. Next stitch on the leg, again, lean the body on the leg, put your hook straight and it'll just hook on. Your hook is always the guide when you're attaching the parts. And the last stitch. The last stitch is hidden and it's underneath. And grab. You're going to tie it off, so do a slip knot just to secure it. Three bands left and you have three stitches left. Turn them around. I have one which is the green because I didn't do a complete round. One, two, and three. Put your hook straight and it will tell you where to grab. You kind of want to grab on the yellow part. And slip stitch. The next stitch on the leg, put it straight. And the last stitch, put it straight. I think I'm just going to do this again, put it straight, and then grab. And you're doing a slip knot to secure it. Push the stuffing up, and your one leg's on. Now for the other leg, you want to find the placement, so the front of the foot, Push the stuffing in. And fold it in half. I have to push that stuffing in. Fold it in half so you find the back in the stitch that's going sideways. Put your hook back to front here. And that's the placement. Now the placement on the body part, we counted five stitches sorry, six stitches over this way, we are going to count seven stitches to your left. So I'm going to go, there's my stitch marker, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I'm not grabbing the stitches that's attached to the yellow, I'm going to grab one stitch below. And I'm going to fix this up so that the front of the foot's facing the front of the body. I'm going to bring my first band through and do a slip stitch. Now I'm going this low onto the bottom of the body so it makes it easier for him to sit up. Now I'm going to go the next stitch on the leg here and the next stitch over on the body. So I went here, it's being pulled, I need to go to the next stitch over. And I'm going to do a slip knot to secure it. Now putting the leg straight, you want to count five stitches to the top. Don't count where you left off, you're going to count above. One, two, three, four, and five, and grab it through. Now put it flat, you want to sit them up. You want to sit them up. And it will guide you where to grab. You're going to grab the top end and do a slip stitch. Now you have four stitches in between, one, two, three, and four. You're going to do four slip stitches. So put your body flat here or sideways and let your hook be the guide. 
you're going to go down, slip stitch, slip stitch, putting it straight, You're sewing this more in a shape of a box than you are in a circle. Your stitch is hidden, this last one here. Do a slip knot to secure it. Go to the center. You have three stitches. One, two, and three. You're gonna just do repeat or you're gonna repeat. I'm not grabbing the purple stitch, I'm just gonna grab the yellow. This one, straight with your hook. And the last stitch, straight. I'm gonna grab the pink here and slip knot to secure. Now you just want to hide all the slip knots, so just go through the body or the leg, whatever you prefer, and just go through and then just hide all those slip knots. And you can do that to each one of them. Now we're going to attach the arms. The arms you want to make sure that you kind of fluff it out. It's going to be away, this part, the front part of the foot is away from the body. And I'm going to attach the arms in the middle of the yellow stitches right here. So I'm going to grab the yellow stitches. I kind of want the small area, just a small area, open and free. We don't want to kind of grab side by side. So I kind of have an opening right here. So what I'm going to do so you can see is I'm just going to reserve this so I don't attach the legs together. Now you have five sewing bands on each of the legs here. You're going to bring the five bands through the middle stitches of the yellow. So if you put them flat, you're going to see you want to count five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to bring your bands through and just kind of like crochet those guiding those sewing bands. So slide. Now what I'm going to do is just grab on to one of the guiding bands right at the end of the arm and do a slip knot to secure it. So just bringing it through and then slide and tie it off. Now for the other arm, the same thing. I need five stitches, kind of reserving that area. Bring your bands through. And grabbing on to the guiding band, or sorry, the sewing band. I'm sorry, I keep screwing up my words or messing up my words. The guiding band that you had, or the sewing, <laughs> I'm sorry, the sewing band that you had on the leg, just bring your band to secure it. I do apologize. And you want to hide your bands. I am going to go through the arm to hide those slip knots. And the same thing for the other arm. and these should sit quite nicely already. Now we're going to sew on the horns, and the horns are going to be like this, so just kind of like right above the eye. Where I'm going to show you exactly to go is on the purple. You're going to use five bands, and you're going to do five slip stitches. 
you have five stitches on the horn. So let's just find the back. So I'm going to find the back anywhere you wish. Go through the chain. And the placement that you're going to do, the eye, you want to find two stitches of the purple, one and two. I won't be grabbing the yellow, I'm going to be grabbing the stitches of the purple. Now one and two is going to be down here, one and two. I want to start at this stitch first. So you're going to find one and two and go to the stitch right above and you're going to grab that. And that's where you're going to start. Your next stitch is going to be right beside. These two stitches are going to be the purples, one and two, and your last stitch is at the side. So the first one, bring it through all the loops. So now, let's go through the horn and grab the next stitch over. So give it a tug, find the loop that's attached to where you're tugging, and slip stitch. The next two are the purples at the bottom. So the next stitch on the horn, and you're grabbing the purple stitch, not the yellow right above the eye, and slip stitch. The next stitch, and the next stitch right beside. And the last stitch, kind of hard to grab, the last stitch, give it a tug, and you're going to go right beside. Now you can do a slip knot with this band, or a slip stitch, it's up to you. You can do a complete round, because once you go through, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you go through, and you kind of like, don't pull too hard, you have yellow right here. It might look nicer if you just kind of, just to show you, I'm going to go through the first chain where we went through, and do a complete round. I didn't give that count when I was counting the bands. It's just up to you to make it a kind of a cleaner finish. But it is in the back. So there's one horn on, and now we're going to do the next. Now the same thing, we're going to do the exact same thing. Find your two stitches right above the eye here of the purple, and you're going to grab the next stitch. That's where you're going to start, and you're going to go around using five bands. So I'm just going to put my hook through from the back towards the front, and then grab the stitch on the head. You want to do a slip stitch starting at the top. Go to the next stitch on the horn. Give it a tug. You don't want to use that band. You want to go right beside. Two stitches in the front. The next, give it a tug, go to the next stitch over, and the last. Give it a tug, you don't want to grab where it's getting pulled, the next stitch over. I am going to do a complete round just to do it with you. You could either do a slip knot right now, or add an extra band. Back where I started, that purple stitch, and bring your band through and tie it off. And then you can just kind of go through the head and hide these bands. And you can do that to the other side. Now we're going to attach the ears and I'm going to use a single band to tie it off for each ear. Each ear you have four sewing bands, so you're going to bring four sewing bands through the head. You want to find the magic ring. Just so you have the magic ring on the tip of the ear, you will let it fall naturally, but you kind of just want to position it for the minute, for the moment, right to the tip, and then give it a squeeze. And then it will just kind of fall to the back naturally. 
Now I'm going to be sewing them to the side and I'm going to be catching the yellow bands. Now I kind of want it on an angle, just a few stitches, maybe three stitches away from the eyes. So maybe you'll have uh, two stitches in between and you're kind of grabbing like the third one here. I kind of want it on an angle, but still yet only grabbing the yellow stitches and you're just bringing them through. And then you're going to slide through. So it's kind of on an angle. Um, we don't want it just kind of so straight because then the ears are just going to be like this. We kind of want it to be opened up like that. Now what you're going to do with that band to tie it off is turn it around and you're going to go through kind of like a stitch on the head and then grabbing the stitch on the ear at the back in the center. So that's going to help it to sit up and not fall flat on the face. With your band, you're just gonna go through all the stitches and do a slip knot. So it's gonna kind of, it won't fall flat. And then you can just fix it up. Again, for the other ear, the same thing. Kind of leave a couple of stitches in between the eye. You also wanna make sure that you're even with the other side. I'm just going to have one and two and bring my first one through the top of the yellow on the third stitch. So I have one, two, and then went through the third. And I'm just going to kind of sew on an angle, so kind of going down and bringing my bands through. Turn it around, go through a stitch on the head and then grabbing the stitch on the ear so that it sits up. So you can see here is the bottom of the ear where it's attached to the head. I'm just going to grab a stitch up and bringing the band through to tie it off. And then if anything, you can just check out the ears, make sure that they're even, give it a squish. And then you can just hide the sewing bands, or sorry, your little bands here with your slip knot. Hide it through the body. And you can do that with the other side. And I just went through. So now for the tail, I'm going to do a chain of 16, single band doubled, and then I'm just going to add on six wrapped bands using the purple color. So this was the same thing that we did for the elephant. What I'm going to do is at the back, finding the center, approximately the center, I'm going to go through two chains of the yellow. So I'm not going to go through these ones at the bottom here where it meets the purple. I think I'm just going to go through the top. So kind of fluff it up. If you have to go through two because that's your center, I had to do that with this one. Uh, my center is directly and I just need to grab one. Now you're going to take your bands. I did pink, neon orange, green, and then yellow and then repeated that four times. You can do a solid color, you could do whatever it color that um, you'd like to do. So I'm just going to double my bands by wrapping it around my hook twice, grabbing it, and then just bring it through. Again, double it, so you're wrapping it around your hook twice, secure, and bring through. And you're creating a chain of 16.
Once you have your chain for as long as you want or as short as you'd like, you want to now move this kind of up so you have some room. You want to take six bands, I'm using purple, and you're going to wrap them around your hook twice. So six bands, one, two, hold on to it, one and two, keep going, one and two, one and two, one and two. one and two. Now I'm going to push the tail down. You want to take a single band and bring it through all of the loops. So make sure you have it secured. Bring all the loops, the, all the purple bands, and the tail onto that band. Grab the end and slide. And I'm just going to wrap this around the tail. I might go twice. Just wrap it around. Figure eight and go around. And then you can just kind of fool around with that, not too much. And now he's done. If you want to add on the flower or something right in the center, it's completely up to you. I liked the idea of just adding something right there. So I hope you enjoyed. Looming with Cheryl. Please subscribe down below and I'll see you next time with another. Bye for now.